barbecued chicken, pasta, um, fresh pasta, dried pasta, um, maybe some salads, some veggies, some fruit, um, some chocolate milk, chocolate flavoured milk, uh, yeah, yeah, there was heaps of stuff, we got heaps of stuff, way too much stuff, condiments, so like tomato sauces and bread, it's always bread, yeah, I can't remember what else we got that night, but it was, yeah, it was some good usable stuff. I get a bit antsy if I haven't gone to look in the bin for the day and I haven't gone to look yet today so I'm a little bit excited to see what's there. <laughs> Hopefully you won't be into this but I would like to find some meat or something like that. I haven't found meat for a little while. Not that there's any room in my freezer for it, it's like jam-packed. Um, but yeah. Or cheese. Cheese is always nice to find. I need some more I need some different fruit too actually. A watermelon or a rock melon wouldn't go astray. And some yogurt. I'd like to find some yogurt. Alright, I've reached my daily study goal. I'm there. <laughs> this makes me happy. Let's go get in a bin. Hopefully there'll be something in the bin. Sometimes there isn't. Most of the time there is. I pretty much always just um, come and look in the bin before I go into the shop to buy anything. So this is the back of the super barn, this is the parking lot. Next door is the cafe and I find that those three bins are normally the cafe and it's all just rubbish and junk and you can't really go in there. But the three bins on that side are always the supermarket bins and there's always some good stuff in there. Safety first, brakes on. In you go. <laughs> there's some there's some lamb chops, but they're not super cold, unfortunately. We should have come earlier. We would have got everything. You never you never know when they're gonna go to the shelf and pull everything off and chuck it in the bin. So like all times of day are good to come and have a look. And there's like there's some garlic bread here. If you were too lazy to make your own, you can just chuck that in the oven. What's that? A wrap. That looks a bit gross. I don't want that. Oh. There's always bananas. I don't want that. These are pretty good. All these mountain breads. But I don't get bread. I normally go to the gourmet bread bakery for my bread. We'll go there next. But this is still fine. Yeah. I'd still eat that. But I'm not going to take it today. Oh, there's a whole thing of flour in here too, Ryan. So, I'd probably take stuff like this. It's just got a tear in the packaging. But this is like organic self-raising flour. This one's heavy. This bin is fucking heavy as. Oh my god. So sometimes it's good to keep to keep a bin open so you can chuck stuff from one bin to the other. This all looks like lettuce off cuts. Oh, pay dirt with the bananas once again. I never buy bananas. It's so good. It's a really good snack. I come and get my afternoon snacks from the bin or something. These are beautiful. Oh, they're a little bit mouldy. Well, there's like one mouldy one. I might take them. I'll pull the mouldy one out. Yum. I haven't found strawberries for ages. That's a soup mix. How lazy can you get? I'll take that. That's my soup mix now. Baby carrots. Oh, oh yes. Beetroots.
some more bananas for the people. Oh, pomegranate. Nice. So I might even just leave these on the street for people. Sometimes if there's like too much, too many bananas or something, I just leave them on the street. And then I look onto the street half an hour later and they're gone. And people have taken them. So I'm just going to make a street box for people. And you know, there's these little potable herbs. They're already, they're already planted for you. Coriander. That's hard to grow. But I might just even plant these basils. They're fine. That one's a bit worse for wear. Jeez, it's very sad. And that's a really healthy one. There are so many bananas here. Yeah, you've got to sort of put stuff away, otherwise people get the shits. Um, well, they get the shits anyway, but you don't want to do anything, you know, that you think is unethical. And leaving rubbish strewn all over the place would be a bit of a shit thing to do. A guy came out yesterday who I hadn't met before, and he was a bit unchill. He was a bit psycho. And he... He was like, I've heard of you, get out of the bin. And I was like, no, I'm staying in the bin. He was all like, put that back. And I was like, no. And he was like, this is my bin. And I was like, it's not your bin. Um, I feel like it's my bin. I feel like this is my bin. Um, but yeah, he, he came out and had a go at me. And, and then he said, then he was like, stop arguing. And I went, you stop arguing. Then he said, what if you get sick? And I said, I, I won't get sick. He said, what if you get sick? Whose responsibility is it? And I said, it's my responsibility. And he said, exactly. So don't eat the food. And I went, no, I will eat the food. Like, don't like, and I said, don't worry. Like, I, I think they're worried about getting sued or something like that. But yeah, so I think they're worried about liability. Um, but you know, if I've gone and eaten food out of a bin, and I get sick for it, I would never try to blame anybody else but myself. Um, but other than that, I feel like they must have financial motivations for not wanting us to go in the bin. Like if we get all this free food, we're not spending money in their shops. I don't know if they think of that either. Maybe it is purely, maybe it is purely a liability thing for them. I don't know. Maybe they're worried. I reckon we'll go have a look in the bakery bin next. I'm pretty open about um, dumpster diving at work um, because I bring in things to share and um, I try to give people the heads up that it is from the bin. So whoever's in the tea room at the time, I'll go, yep, that's from the bin. Eat it if you want. Don't eat it if you don't want. Um, some people turn their noses up at it and don't understand it. But most people are pretty curious. Like most people are like, what? Like say what you got it where like where did you get it and they want to know where I got it and how I do it and what the deal is and they're they're pretty curious about it really and some people give really good feedback like they'll say oh I ate that thing you got out of the bin it was really nice and I was like yeah it's it's, it's really good food it's fine um so even if they are skeptical at first once they once they see it I think they um they change their minds pretty quickly or they they sort of start, start to shift their perceptions pretty quickly. This bakery opened up probably halfway through last year and we got really excited because they've got some really nice gourmet bread and treats. So we found the bin and I'll show it to you now but I, I need a bit of help breaking in because you've got to lift up a security door and oh. someone's got to crawl underneath it. So you need two people to access this bin all the time. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, awesome. Let's do it. So, these are the bakery bins. 
And what you'll do is I'll lift up the gate. So I'll lift this up with my brute strength. And then you'll go through that door and open that door for me. And then we can get in and just come out the door so we don't have to go back through the gate. You'll go through and open up those doors for me. Yeah. So we're filming? Yeah. I'm just going to keep it rolling. Yes. And then you can go get your camera again. This is definitely trespassing, I'd say. I'm definitely not meant to be here. Oh, there's all kinds of muffins and brownies. Oh. Oh. See what's in here. Oh, rubbish. I hate it when they mix up the good breads with like just the stuff from from people's plates. Like, it's always disappointing. I want to get this one. That one had hay dirt in it, but I've just dropped it in the bin. Oh no! Look at all this bread. Oh, it's double bag. There's a baguette. This is a nice one, it's got olives in it. I'm still discovering this bin. But yeah, I've just spilt it all in there. So that wasn't wasn't very good today, but normally it's pretty good. In terms of like being able to find just whole big garbage bags mm. of loaves of bread. But I've still got some in my house from the other day, so I don't even necessarily need a loaf of bread at the moment. I've got about three loaves at home already. So, that's that bin. Sometimes I just get a bit curious about other bins, but I don't think that one's any good. All right, we'll move on to somewhere else. It was all just a bit messy, so I didn't really know, like it looked like a bit contaminated, so I didn't want it, yeah. It was just sort of muffins and brownies and stuff. So I just left that one, because it didn't look quite safe. So it's best not to eat it if it doesn't look safe. Yeah. Well, the dumpster diving is abundant. I think the culture around it is still developing. So the only culture, um, well, the culture that I know of, when I first started diving, um, the Burke Street Bakery bin is a, a quite a big hub for a lot of the dumpster divers in Sydney. Um, I think it's really well known in the, in the community, so people refer to that bin as a starting point a lot of the time. And the culture around that bin is always quite friendly. But um, sometimes a bit cagey and protective. So sometimes people are reluctant to share, but most of the time there's so much of everything that it's, it's like, I've got one of these already, do you want one of these? I found one of these. Do you mind if I have that? Um, you know, um, so most of the time it's very, very sharing and giving. Because it's never, it's never sparse. Oh, fuck, is it down there or is it up here? I can't remember. Oh, it might be up here. Yeah, but the two providors, they chuck out heaps of good stuff. One time Dave and I found about 30 boxes of single serve Lurpak butters. And, you know, there was only so much room in our fridge for them. But that was, that, that was the month we got addicted to Lurpak. <laughs> yeah. I haven't been to this bin for ages, except for the other day when I came, when I went on the way home. But there was, the bin wasn't even out that day. But, so many good loaves of bread, all like straight off the shelf, straight into the, straight into the bin. Like, they've just, they've just cleared the shelf and like, chucked it straight into a bag. But somebody's ripped this bag open already, so someone's already been in here. And like, someone's already been in here and just ripped it open and taken like, probably, who knows what was in this bag, might have been pies, sweets, anything. Because there's a lot of pies and really tasty bakery sweets that come out of Burke Street Bakery, so. 
heaps of and this is a really really well-known bin amongst the community so like whenever anyone's like where's good to dive everyone always says Burke Street Bakery and sometimes some of the staff are really nice and they just leave chucked out stuff in a box here for people to take because they know so many people come this is just a whole bag full of nice bread there's just all nice bread in here all like gourmet dumpster treats I'd eat that that's a delicious seeded sourdough by the smell of things oh yeah there's always heaps of feral cats here there's a guy that comes here and he he di he dives the bin but then he brings like meat for the cats so he like encourages the cats to hang around he's really gross I like I hate the way he feeds the cats I'm like stop feeding the feral cats but like I don't know he thinks he's being a humanitarian or a catatarian yeah <laughs> so yeah but I don't like it I think the cats should wrap off I don't know where they are at the moment actually there's normally a, like thousands of cats here yeah that was that was Burke Street Bakery <laughs> you can come here anytime you Hashtag like Hashtag dumpster life dumpster life get in a car Melissa <laughs> One day this chick came around and got two whole snappers that I found in the bin <laughs> and, and then she turned it into a stew for all of the students or all of the people living in the student accommodation that she shared, which was really awesome. Like she sent me a message saying this fed so many people and I was like, that's awesome. I'm so glad I was able to share that with her. We're at the back of Marrickville Metro and this is also a really popular dumpster diving spot for a lot of inner west locals because there's some big supermarkets here including Woolworths and um, Aldi uh, and then there's a lot of independent little butchers and bakers and things like that. Here are some of the shifties coming back on there. Hey guys. <laughs> hey. Whoa. What's coming on TV? I'm only good. There are so many capsicums in this bin. You've never seen so many capsicums. That's enough for me. They're pretty good. They're good capsicums. You know, there's so many. I just can't believe how many there Hello. How are you going? One time Dave and I came here and we were diving in the bins that were kind of like right out the back of the shop and these two little like Greek grandmas came and got in the bin with us and they were like giving us orders to help them get stuff out of the bin. They were like, hey you boy, lift the lid and, and pull this out of the way and I was like, no, I'm a girl and they were like, oh, just lift the lid and <laughs> it was pretty funny but then they shared their eggs with us so they were alright, they were alright after all. But yeah, there's like um, some older grannies that come dumpster diving too. Frequently called people. <laughs> I can see a cat, but I can't see David. Where'd you go, cuz? You're in front of the car, okay. All right, we'll see you soon. Where did you go? Oh, you're in the shop, were you? Okay, we'll come back and see you. We'll see you soon. Okay, okay. See you soon. All right, he's back at the car. She was full sussing us out. And that one we've seen the other time. Nah, she was, she was younger than that. But um, then 
Rylan pointed the camera at her and she was like, Ugh. and then, then she was like, oi, you can't just go back and forth because the cameras are watching on this. <laughs> no, she wasn't hot. <laughs> she was like middle-aged. She was like Diane, but from another dimension. <laughs> Any supermarket, like anything that sells items on bulk, are going to chuck out a lot of stuff. And it's um, because they get a lot of stock in and they turn a lot of stock over, but then there's a, still a lot of stock left at the end of the day. And I think all, all their insurance is wrapped up in being able to afford to chuck out the older stuff that's not necessarily expired because they get in new stuff and want to sell it at, at the same price. Um, so it's almost like... This whole disposability is built into the system all over Australia, in all kinds of you know big towns, little towns, everywhere. You can you can go and get a reliable food source from from these dumpsters. Well, there's Paul Metcalf at it again on the dumpster page. He loves it. Mhm. Mm um, let's try and find it. That's Life magazine, and in the corner here you can see me featuring with my little um, note that I saved $15,000 by eating from bins, and no one can quite believe it. Um, I'm in such company as New Ways with Pasta, wow, uh, torn apart by a treadmill, a ghost through my phone, and I had 50 babies in a year. Slut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all a bit of a laugh. I'm reading about, um, there's this guy Paul on the dumpster diving Sydney, Australia web um, Facebook group and he said he wanted to share a story about some people's weird perceptions on dumpster diving and curbside shopping. He said, I met someone on a dating site and happened to mention that I sometimes find things in council cleanups. I didn't mention the dumpster diving yet. She went quiet and got weird and I asked why. She no longer wants to consider meeting because she wants a boyfriend of good character. That's so funny. She didn't like him because he goes to council cleanups. Who doesn't love a good council cleanup? They're the fuck. They're the best things in the world. Like I love finding things on the side of the road, especially in affluent suburbs like Balmain or the Northern Beaches. It's so so good. I love it. It's the best thing ever. Anyway. Yeah, anyway, he's not going on that Tinder date anymore. <laughs> My wife is in airport. <laughs> and then you've gone, I saved $15,000 from eating from bins, then I ate a bin. Now I am pregnant with bin babies and my uncle is a bin. <laughs> Have you seen this? Food. That's 523 kilos per household, which is about five full fridges of food every single year. So it's no surprise really that people are now turning to freeganism, street scavenging or even dumpster diving. Not only as a way to save some much needed money, but also as a way to help save the environment. To tell us more about this new way to shop is self-proclaimed dumpster queen, Melissa Humphreys. <laughs> Melissa, great to have you on the show. Thanks very much. Let's go straight back to the start. How did you become a, a dumpster diver? <laughs> um, I think it was just the influence of friends that were doing it at the time. Um, and I saw the stuff that they were collecting and I asked them to show me the bin. I, t I take my, like, you know, if I was single and just meeting someone, I would definitely take them to the bin. Having dinner at your house, so people go, yeah, come on over, they go, Anyway, I'm there, stoked for the attention it generated. That I think it's very um, funny. They've still eaten it. They've still eaten <laughs> <laughs> Yuppie dumpster titles. <laughs> Gourmet dumpster titles. Yeah, we'll, we'll rock up Paris to the bin one day in our BMW still. <laughs> 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 Do you have any quince paste, sweetie? Hmm? <laughs>
I ate a lot of bread. <laughs> <laughs> Dumpster diving is actually really great for me because the thing you find the most are like fruit and veg, pretty much, and that's like the majority of my diet, so it's pretty good. Um, yeah, so just lots and lots of fruit and veg, pretty much vegan. You find eggs a lot, I do eat eggs, which is great. So like if, you know, all the packs of the eggs, I know that's in the shops, like if one breaks, they throw the entire pack out. So you can get like really nice free range organic eggs as well. Um, yeah, lots of nuts and like seeds and stuff and packets. If packets have like a little tear in them, they'll throw the whole thing out. Most of the stuff we find is actually not even out of date. Like it doesn't go out of date for several more months or weeks. It's just if there's some little defect and it doesn't look perfect, then they have to throw it out. So we're not even eating like old, it's not even old food. It's not like, oh, it's old, it's gone off yeah. and you're eating stuff that's like kind of questionable. It's like all of it's still in date. It's really nice. It's just such a waste, yeah, just thrown out. So I'll cook up really healthy, like, vegetarian, vegan meals and stuff. I think that's just a house. Try to decide. <laughs> I don't want anything else. I don't actually need this. I grew up in North England, close to Liverpool, and I never really heard about dumpster diving. So I grew up in the States when I was really young, but then I started traveling and living around the world since I was 17. Um, and I'm kind of the same. I never really heard about dumpster diving. I heard of it and I knew it existed, but I never really thought about it as like something to do. Um, I remember my mom telling me when she was like in her 20s, she used to live in Hawaii and they used to go and get like big boxes of like papayas and mangoes that like the fruit places would like dump out because they had a little dent in them or something and like that's all I remember kind of hearing about it. And I thought it sounded nice, but I just didn't really consider it doing it myself. And it wasn't until I came to Australia and started going to rainbow gatherings and kind of getting into the alternative lifestyle and meeting lots of hippies traveling and found out how many people were doing it and that people were just solely living off that and not spending any money or anything that like started to interest me. And then, yeah, then just going with people. In the beginning, it was a bit slow. We didn't find much. And then I think it's kind of when you get your first really amazing dumpster that has like incredible food and just tons of food you kind of realize you're like wow yeah this is like ridiculous why have I not been doing this this whole time and and then you're kind of hooked yeah it's a bit addicting like just going and all the amazing amazing things you can get and really nice like really nice stuff from organic shops too and like really nice products that are usually really expensive but being able to just find those and reuse them it's Great. You know it's there. And yeah, it's why free. would you ever go grocery shopping if you know you can just go down the street and get amazing free food? Yeah, I think it's usually I, organic and great. I probably spend about less than fifty dollars on in the supermarket a month. Probably. Mm. You probably spend about yeah. Yeah. I've never been up to diving in Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> Those are there. like the bin. I think that's the recycling for the organic shop. I don't think there's going to be anything else in here. This is $22.30. It's fennel. Oh, wow. Fresh herbs. Lavender. Wow, nice, man. Is Madonna Paris Jackson's real mom? Who's Paris Jackson? I don't fucking know. Oh, look, here you go. Brand showdown! Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, there's tons of them. I don't want any of this crap. Do you want this? No. Oh, look, it's your, uh, <laughs> your royal people. I don't know what's going on down here. Ooh. Lots of turmeric. Not anymore. I can hippie bins empty for the silver bottle.
on to the next one. I'm gluten free, but a lot of time in a lot of the places, even Aldi, Aldi or the organic shops, they throw away tons of gluten free bread too, which is great. So, yeah, it's even if like if you have certain dietary restrictions, it's like it doesn't limit you dumpster diving. You can still find what you need. Yeah. Oh, they're so cute. Mmm. Look at the squashes. takes couch surfers and then if you want to stay on longer you can start paying and get a room and um, it's really beautiful it's got like amazing gardens it's kind of like a little tropical hippie oasis in the city and all the food pretty much all the food in the house that we get is dumpster dove so several people will go kind of as often as you want to go really so a few times a week or maybe almost even every night if people are really keen and get lots of food and then we bring it all back and we clean it together and then we Check it all out and get it in the fridge and then every night we'll kind of pull all of that out and make a big communal dinner together and pretty much all our meals are like solely from dumpster dough food and a lot of the time it's like all organic and all really nice and yeah it's just incredible dishes and like it's great. So usually a nice organic produce or packaged food or eggs, anything really. Yeah. But also like more organic like nursery stores, I feel like they kind of really try and use everything and maybe like the staff take stuff home so you don't find as much waste as you do like in the big like generic Yeah, there's definitely stores. more waste at the main street. Oh, there's something in there. Yeah. Um, uh, just some tomatoes. Not much really. Bottom one there. Oh, it's a bit too far down. <laughs> oh, that didn't sound good. Get in that bin. Ooh. I've never actually been eat. inside Flannery's before, yeah, but I've, I've eaten a lot of food from Flannery's. This is true. I usually just live off dumpster diving and then maybe go to the store like once or twice a month. I don't really buy groceries very much at all anymore. 
and like that combined with like community dinners and community programs and um, like woofing and doing stuff like that. There's so much free available food and just yeah stuff like that. You don't really need to go and buy food ever. It's kind of a waste. I feel like it's only if there's something really specific that I want. I would go and buy it and pay for it. I'm excited to try it in other countries and see what it's like. I think because I think it's all over the world that you can. So yeah, it's amazing. Like knowing that now and being able to travel and reduces your well, your cost and your footprint and everything. It's like it's amazing. This is the bok choy. Oh, bok choy. You just said what? No. Let's just grab one. Drink this. Do you think I ever drink it? <laughs> Baby bok choy. Mm. No, thank you. Unless there's a lot more. Oh, look at those strawberries. I'm gonna make stew tonight and strawberry pie. Mm. But there's just so much silver deep. Everywhere. Yeah, there's always green. a lot of silver bee. It's your B vitamins. Wow, lots you don't find strawberries as often. It's usually potatoes, silver bee. Yeah. Some good stuff. It's pretty full of. Uh, I mean, Leanne's supposed to be a vegetarian, but she'll eat meat pies out of the bin. If it's free. <laughs> Only if it's free. <laughs> yeah. The Veganism. I don't know. Yeah, I guess, like, in a way, sometimes there are things that I wouldn't necessarily eat, but, like, since they were free out of the bin, I kind of am like, okay, like, yeah, yeah I have a lot of this, it's and free. so I'm going to eat it. Because it's, I don't know, because even in a way, even though you're... Even though you're going off the waste from someone else, in a way, like, you almost feel guilty if you take stuff to throw it away. Like, you want to fully use it. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you try and really use everything. And, like, when we do get stuff, we try and bring it back to the house and, like, really, like, yeah, try and consume all of it before we go dumpster diving again and really, like, use it. And if there is stuff that we get and then it goes off, like, I don't know, I think we, like, feel a bit guilty and stuff because it's like, you really don't want to throw anything out. Um... Yeah, which is probably like the opposite mentality of like the stores. But yeah, I guess in a sense, like kind of then we are free game because we'll eat things that we wouldn't necessarily have bought. One willies or one calls, like just one night a week and you can just get like just enough food to feed like 20 people or something. Like you can't, you never even can get all of it. There's so much food. And you think about that's just one store, one night of the week. And you think about all the other stores in the city and like every night, day after day, like how much they throw out and how much that piles up and all that food is perfectly good to eat. And it's just like, it's really like kind of disturbing in a way. Like you think of all the people like starving and struggling and, and that they're just throwing all of that away. And that they'd rather see it go to like a landfill than go to people who need it. So here in like the Northern Rivers area, there's a um, group or little organization called Five Loves and they kind of provide food for the community. They drive up, I don't know all the details, but they drive up in a big van every single day in Lismore at six o'clock and they just kind of unload tables and put all the food out. It's usually all fresh fruit and veg 
bread. Um, they usually have a hot meal as well. Sometimes they get sushi. Um, just kind of like all sorts of like your basic stuff. And it's been donated from the stores. And it's like stuff that would end up in the bin, but instead it's been given to them. Oh, what a feast I love the soup they're having well. tonight. Mm. Sushi soup and dessert and cakes and goodness knows what else those ladies have been cooking. They're fantastic. What's that one? Oh, that's Cheryl and Allison. Pardon? Yeah. yeah, you can take some more of that if you like. There's a couple of salmon ones left there. John's going to get some spoons. I'm just going to get some spoons for you. I can, I'm not able to even drink it. Five loaves started about 26 years ago with an elderly man who just made his life. But he didn't do it on this scale. All he did, he collected a little bit of food from a few of the little bakeries. But he used to collect furniture, clothing, and he used to distribute that out. Well, he died five years ago, and when he died, his um, wife wanted and his family wanted um, it to be continued. We're now able to pick up probably 200 kilos of food a day and um, distribute it amongst the community. Just one each, so everyone can get some, would be really nice. Man, do you want crumpets? Crumpets? Yeah. You did go and get them. <laughs> the lot? Okay. Uh, just a little soup left, folks. Bunch of flowers for somebody's favourite woman, or me. Nice, freshly nice. made this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Have you find some? Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I didn't wet them out. There you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So my this has been Friday, so we've missed each other. Oh, yeah, yeah. lovely to see it. Can I touch your hair? <laughs> what is it, a bit fluffy, is it? Oh, it's so cool, <laughs> it's just touchable. <laughs> Puddly in. Yeah. That's what you said. What? It's some little, little, little puddle in. It's like some weird pug cross with the purple mix. Well, people from my town are called Wignesians. Wignesians? <laughs> what? What sort of name do you have for people from Vermont? Vermonter? <laughs> this is normal. It's not like a Vermonterlian. <laughs>
with other uh, yeah, who should, people yeah. from my uh, share, sharing uh, apartment together. Okay. Was in Hamburg, Wilhelmsburg. In Hamburg, yeah. <laughs> the dumpster diving. <laughs> yeah. That's the first time. Sex. Yes. Uh, dumpster diving. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Jelly, strawberries and cream. Whoa. Mm. What even is this? Is it like yogurt? <laughs> oh. Barambar organics. Well in this jelly, strawberry, apple. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, that's jam. Ah, oh. oh, jelly, yeah. Oh, that's so good. And we, do, you, do we have a lot of bread still? Bread? Yeah, yeah, we have, we have uh, bread, lots of bread in, in the kitchen. <coughs> then we can use the jam. First May, first of May, uh, I think it's okay. Are you sure? Yeah. What for Kiwi? I don't know what Kiwi is. It's a. Uh, uh, what can't explain. <laughs> can't explain. It's a kind of, of milk, a milk or probiotic uh, yogurt uh, drink. I don't know if it's cold. They have more stuff. So often people work in the night in Australia. Like where? Like what jobs? Yeah, on the street. <coughs> Construction jobs on the street. Oh yeah. Or street working. <coughs> or not street working. <laughs> Talking, like, drinking. It's typically construction side in Australia. <laughs> Do you remember the last time when we were going to Colts? <laughs> yeah. We we're just looking at the um, <sighs> Was that the last car? There's one? I don't know if there's Maybe there's also someone inside, or oh, yeah. someone is Doesn't just matter. leaving their car there? Yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on. All right. Righto. Mm. My glove. No, the light is all off. Hey, the light is off. Oh, that means someone was in there. That means someone is in there. I think so too, yeah. Ah. Chocolate! No, it's alright. It's not bad. Cucumber. Bread. I don't like it, but yeah, it's bread. Um. For him, it's always jackpot when you find a picture of, of meat. What's that? It's a uh, steel fry, chicken breast, breast, chicken breast, street food. Yeah. Ah, Catalina? <laughs> Asparagus. 
Spargel. Ah, Sp ah okay. <coughs> ah, my uncle is living on a. Uh, he's working on an asparagus farm. Look, that would be so cool. Oh, are they are they good? I don't think so. No. It's a little bit blown. Out. A little bit, yeah. Nice, nice bread. <coughs> it's always the bread. So much bread all yeah. the time. Ah, oh. bread everywhere. Why can't we not get some bread? Tomatoes are always always good and they look really really nice. It's better. Mint. Mint. Why Once so much who, uh, Alex he found um, at Flannery's he found uh, I don't know 80 muesli bars or something. And one of them costs five dollars or something normally. And they were all good. And very, very tasty. Oh no, I cracked them. No, it's it's a whole set. A whole set. Da da, it's cracked. That's alright. But then we can have a look, like with the water test. Yeah. What William said. What's the the date? Where's the date on the packet? Oh here. Seventeenth of June. That's good. Got a lot of stuff here. Cherry tomatoes. <laughs> Some flowers. Beautiful. Okay. Apples. Apples, yeah. For you. <laughs> Chewing gum. You're actually taking that? <laughs> yeah, okay, it's, it's not bad. Got asparagus. Not a lot, but... Tomatoes. Some cucumbers. Not tomatoes. Some bread. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa, so many flowers. Yeah. And more cucumber. Some peas. Mint. Mint. Oh, he's going in here. Oh, really? Yeah, definitely. Okay. We, should, we should put it in now. Yeah. Good. Tractor is coming. I think he's going to put something in here. Hey, from Aldi. I think he's bringing new food. Yeah. He should. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Always leave it as you find it. Yeah. I think it's, it's illegal, uh, illegal when you when you uh, when you go on the ground on the property, which is not allowed to go. What? Sorry, it's uh, illegal. Dumpster right? diving, yeah, illegal. Oh yeah, yeah, but we're not. Are we doing? Do you think that's the property of Aldi? No, no. <laughs> Probably, isn't it? But they wouldn't have Aldi here. I don't know. No, but you're not. not you're not. But when you climb over fences or something, <laughs> yeah, then it's then it's illegal. Really really yeah. Yeah. Yes. So many shots. Or when you have some camel or something. No, you have to be more careful. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. All right. I'm still wondering what the what the truck is doing here. No. At this time, it's. Yeah, it's a bit confusing. <coughs> He's not even going in there. I thought we were going to be like that. Oh, it's 
Maybe he saw us and then he felt uh, he needed to escape. <laughs> because he felt, he felt afraid. Outlaws. I was, I was looking for work for like a month here in Brisbane. Like, I didn't really try hard. That was a little bit stupid. Um, but yeah, at the moment I'm doing it to save money a little bit. And also to have a bit adventure. <laughs> adventure. We're going on an adventure. Adventure is yes. fun. Yeah, it's better than just sitting in the house the whole day. I mean, you have work now. But yeah, I have work. I was in the house the whole day. But yeah, but even even if you have the money to buy food, it's a good um, possibility to to save money. Com combined with couch surfing, it's, a, it's the best way. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, oh. I don't want to buy all the time food in the store. Yeah, I mean you can live cheap. We were on our road trip, um, we had like sometimes meals for like three dollars, and it was like. Pasta with pasta sauce and easy, like tomato sauce, I mean. You bought it? Yeah. Why? Why? In a, a <coughs> toy toy shop. Mr. Toys. For the festival. Oh but you didn't use it. I use it, but not often. Yeah, it, it, it looks like it's full. <laughs> Can I use it? Yeah, like not, maybe not in, in the, the car. car. <laughs> <laughs> Bubbles. What are they zillion? Yeah, but because we we came from there. No. Yes. Like we're like we're just we're just taking that road to to drive it into Aldi because it's on the left left hand side. Yeah. I'm confused. <laughs> we came. See? We came that way. But now we take. We're going right. Ah, okay. And then, and then I'm standing uh, at the <laughs> at the place where the bread is, and I think, what? No, I don't want to pay so much money because I'm sure I find the same stuff in the dump. Yeah. And for free. Uh, yeah. And like. But it's especially it's in Australia. I think in Australia, okay, you 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 have no. Compare to yeah. comparison. Com comparison. Comparison. Yes. To Germany, <laughs> but when you go for dumpster diving in Germany, you will you will see that uh, it's it's very different. Yeah. In Germany, I think you can't find so much uh, <coughs> so much food. Yeah, flowers from the dump. <laughs> the boyfriend from my sister, he was um, like as soon as the the date was expired from from the things like the best before date when it was expired, um, he was just throwing it in the bin. He wasn't looking at it, so. <coughs> Most of the time, it's still good as long as you store it right. Like things that need to go in the fridge, you need to put in the fridge and not somewhere in the sun. And then it's bad after a while. But yeah, if you do it right, then you can <coughs> sometimes still use it like a week after the expiry date. 